everyone and welcome back to Bronco Wild Outdoors. So today Gavin and I have a, a little thing we've been talking about doing for a while. Uh, you've been pushing me to do this and yeah. I've kind of been waiting a little bit. However, I did find a local print shop that could help me with this. This is something that believe it or not, it doesn't look that hard, but getting the colors to match was not as easy as it looks. So what we're doing right now is um, we have the swing gate fold down table. This was an accessory from the uh, Ford Accessory uh, website. I had it installed at the dealer. They did a great job. By the way, a little note, uh, we've done a video on this before. No noise, no rattles from this. There's a few tricks. If you uh, look in the description below, I'll put a link to that video that talks about when this was installed. It doesn't show it being installed. It just talks about uh, how it should be installed so it doesn't make noise. But Gavin and I were looking at the Bronco that's stamped in here, and there's two things about this. So, you know, originally there's a black accessory ready panel that goes across here. That has to come off for this bracket to be mounted to the swing gate. And if you look in there, it might be kind of hard to see with the lighting, but the paint, they actually stop the painting up to just under where that cover goes. So when you take the cover off and put this table up, if you look in there, you can see a little bit of unpainted area. And that's just because it doesn't need to be painted if it's covered up with plastic. However, when you use this table, you can see it a little bit. So, in my hand is a piece of 060 brushed aluminum, Gavin. Mm -hmm. um, and this is digitally printed graphics on this. So it's not a sticker, this is printed on the aluminum. Now, it sounds easy enough. Match the Badlands orange and go with it, right? That's where it took a little bit of talent from or actually a lot of talent from the print shop because when you print onto this brushed aluminum it actually changes the color so they had to compensate for that so by the time it was actually on the material it matches the Badlands logo. Uh, we tried it today in the sun and from a distance it looks spot on. So uh, right now we're going to attempt to install this and see if we can uh, get it in because you have one shot right you have this tape on here so that's it. So Becky real quick we have this really high strength two-sided tape here, 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 and here. And what we're gonna do, because it's gonna be too much to get the tape to stick on the top without, you know, we're gonna try to slide this under there and not stick it to the swing gate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the paper off of this side of the tape. We're gonna take the paper off of this, but we're gonna leave this here. And this is gonna work as sort of a cushion or a, or a gasket, if you would, just to keep any kind of a rattle that could happen, I doubt that would happen, just keep it out of there. So if this thing tries to bounce when it's in place, it's gonna hit this and the metal's not gonna, or the aluminum's not gonna hit the swing gate. All right, so Gavin, are you ready? Because mm -hmm. this is gonna be challenging. All right, so we're gonna attempt to get this aluminum uh, panel underneath the Bronco cutout on the swing gate bracket without getting it stuck before we want it to get stuck. If that makes any sense. Anyway, let's pull this tape paper off. You wanna hold that? Gavin, whatever you do, don't drop this. Oh, here, no. I'm going inside. You do this, all right? All right. No. All right, here we go. Now, this is not that difficult. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. Now, we wanna push it up under high enough so I don't see any of the metal sticking out. So I'm gonna take my aluminum drafting ruler and use it to pry against this. Now, one thing I need to look up here is make sure I cannot see the bottom and, oh man, I can see the bottom over here, can I? So, hey Gavin, yes. can you come here? Put your hand right there. And just hold it and just keep you're keeping you're just keeping this from dropping down okay right. no, don't move uh -huh. got it uh -huh. you're gonna hold it right there now without scratching the paint gavin uh -huh. all right don't let it fall i'm gonna be pushing down on it a little bit okay okay all right is it good uh -huh. You know the crazy thing when you watch this video, this is gonna look real easy. This is pretty <laughs> difficult. 
Okay. Very nice. I pushed in some, some of this side. All right, hold on a second. Gavin, can you slide your fingers under there and press it? There you go. No, 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 underneath. Go behind it and take your little fingers and press the orange yeah. to the metal. The tape, the tape is like mm -hmm. right here, yeah. so you yeah. want to press up under there. Try that. You have little hands. Yeah. More hands. Uh oh. You're it very crafty. Some of it. All right, so I pulled my, uh, my drafting, aluminum drafting ruler down and kind of used it for leverage to stick this aluminum. Now the two-sided, this is like sign tape that you use at a sign shop. Uh, it's supposed to hold it. If it ever, uh, I guess, comes unstuck, it won't be a big deal to put it back, maybe try a different tape. But we wanted to go with a thin tape here so that there wasn't a lot of gap uh, between the Bronco stamped in area here in the table and the actual aluminum with the color on it. So I didn't want a big gap in there if I could help it. So you can see right here, it looks pretty cool. The, we're losing our lighting outside. Um, but you can see how the Bronco just really jumps out now in this. And I think it's pretty cool. Now I will tell you, we did consider using LEDs and maybe using some glass in there, plexiglass and, and eliminating it. Um, maybe in the future, but it was a little too much right now, and I'll tell you why. So if we put the small LEDs back here, you're going to have glare coming out of here and glare from under here. The fact is, is that most of this is going to get seen during the day. You know, this is something that when you open the swing gate, when will this be open? During the day, picnics, whatever. I'm sure at night, you know, around a campfire or something like that. I just felt like this was the best use without getting into a lot of stuff with the little LEDs. So using the uh, 060 brushed aluminum with the digitally printed graphics to match the Badlands orange. And you can't really tell it in this lighting anyway, but the brushed part of this really gives it that cool look. So it's that metallic, really, uh, you know, cool metallic look, it used to say. So it, it's, it's rugged, it matches, and I think it adds to this folding down table. I like the table anyway, and now we can see Bronco stamped into it. And so, you know, who knows, in the future, this would be easier. Now that you've seen this video, is if you wanna do something like this, you can do it to the table before it's installed. A lot of easier to do that. But this is one of those cases where we did not wanna take this table off because of the anchors that is used in the swing gate are kind of one and done. And I don't wanna get into trying to relocate and redrill. So with a table already installed, this was an easy solution for me. Um, and there again, we don't ever really recommend you go out and do something. This is what we did and you know what? Um, you could probably, um, if I had to do this over again, if we put one on the 22, uh, we'll have a thick piece of graphic um, uh, cut and made and I'll stick it to the back of it, easy solution. So we were able to stick it to the back uh, no adhesive on the orange is going to be great. So uh, that's our trick to making the Bronco stand out. What do you think? You like Pretty it? Pretty cool. It pops a lot more than it did before. I, I mean, think it looks... Before you couldn't really see it. Well, speaking of popping, we're running out of light. All right, everyone. So that's it for the swing gate uh, fold down table project where we added a piece of aluminum that was colored to match the uh, Badlands orange. And so we um, are able now to bring out that Bronco stamping a little bit. If I add a table on the 22, we will do this before the table is installed uh, to make it a lot easier than what you saw here. I didn't think about it until it was installed and I realized, you know what? I wanna take care of making this thing jump out and also getting rid of that little unpainted area that was below the plastic. So Gavin, do you like it? Yes, it right. pops out a lot more. I promise you we do this and we did it. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. So I'll put as much info I, as I can in the description below. And if you have any questions, hey, let me know. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And Gavin, you'll tell them the rest. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications set to all. So you'll get notified when any of our live streams or shorts or videos like this get posted. So. All right, Gavin. Another project finished. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. See you.